Here's one for the demonetizations. I, uh, I'm, I'm just pretty sure of this. I mean, I might as well just put the orange icon on this fucking thing myself, huh? Here's the deal. I'm gonna turn on some lights so maybe you can see my head. Possibly even my face. Oh, look at that. There I am. Again with the stupid fucking tape cross. A little tape cross. One silly thing my kids did. And then I get years of a freaking old glowing stupid looking tape cross on the background of half my videos. <sighs> the irony of the world. Kind of like the irony of the YouTube content creator saying that YouTube is, or at least agreeing, that YouTube it's 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 two, first two, primary two tenets. Okay. Um, which are the reason why I came here thinking it was a good idea. Reason why I was sold on to this idea of putting all this effort into this channel. Is because YouTube is supposed to stand for free speech. And the ability of anyone to make a living off of it if they put in the work. Okay. And now that they got the thousand threshold, I think we all know that that's bullshit. They're trying to stifle independent voices. It's really just that simple. They're trying to stifle independent voices. Meanwhile, boy. If you want a lot of views, all you got to do is be Russian on, on, on YouTube. If you want to make a lot of money, all you got to do is be Russian on YouTube. Sell out to Russia. Sell out to the fucking shills, the propaganda, the trolls. Fall in line with that. And for some reason, some strange reason, YouTube's algorithm. Just make sure you're successful. Now, we ought to have uh, subpoenaed the edit logs for the algorithm by now. For the Google algorithm itself. We ought to have subpoenaed that to see how it changed as the needs of propaganda and suppression changed. Because I personally noticed the changes in the algorithm as they were happening. You know, I've, I've been on the internet for a very long time. And let me just tell you, kids, this is not how the shit's supposed to work. Okay? And anybody who's been on the internet for a long time will tell you that. Search results are being manipulated. Period. And it's not cool. Now, let me just say this. What I'm doing right now, listen up, is the very definition of free speech. Now, see, see, my hand's over here, perfectly still. I, 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 had, I had to move it over here more. Did you see the camera go dark just then? Did you see the camera go dark? Now, does, does the camera go dark when you're filming a video just because you thought about something on a certain level? Have you noticed how on my videos the camera goes dark every single time I get back to a certain type of thought well fate it seems has given me some 
weird abilities. Okay? That much is true. That much I have proven on this channel. Now, when fate gives someone a compulsion to tell a truth and gives them supernatural powers, perhaps you should listen. But since none of that shit's good enough for you, let me just say, the free speech that YouTube is unconstitutionally suppressing... Ooh, cookies. I, don't, I, have, I have my I have my blanket exposing my stash. There we go. That's much better. Oh, look at the professional backdrop. See, I have the freedom to speak completely randomly because I'm not one of them people who uses a pause button just so I can maintain a train of thought. I lose my train of thought freely for comedic purposes. Well, the very type of free speech that YouTube is suppressing when it comes to this channel, the argument can very easily, easily be made. No matter what things you think you could say about me when defending yourselves in a court of law, and by the way, Google people, you will. But one simple argument can be made that proves that my channel is the very fundamental requirement for protecting free speech. If someone literally wants to warn their own nation of its enemies, Okay? Hello? That's what I've done on this channel. In fear of my life. Without any fucking backup. The, 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 the general I thought I knew? He, he got forced into retirement and wasn't even allowed to contact us. Okay? At that time, my hand was down here. But it wasn't moving. You gonna explain that? Go ahead and explain the video. Where I put my hand up like this and lightning strikes. And... If you make a still frame of that, and I've put this as the cover photo for several videos, I've brought this up on several live streams, the snap, the screenshots I've taken, as I paused it on that part of that video on my phone, my face is in the clouds, right in the backdrop of me pointing my finger to the sky and lightning striking. Okay? And also... There's a long period with no lightning strikes. And at the end of the video, I turn the camera after after looking, you know, after after having the camera up at the clouds and, and speaking like I sometimes do. At the end of the video, I said, OK, now just, just let me make something perfectly clear in case you're wondering whether or not I have this ability. And I turned the camera around. And I did like this. And lightning struck right behind my fucking hand. And my face is in the clouds in the background. Like, like, like creepy. Like, like fucking Prince Vigo from, from the Carpathian Ghostbusters shit. Like in the background when they, when they, uh, when they overexpose the image. Oh yeah. Now, put yourself in my shoes for a second. Just, just try. Okay? You are the modern day Paul Revere. Okay? And you're screaming, the fucking Russians are coming! The Russians are coming! The Russians are coming! 
Okay. And this battle that seems to be unfolding before you, this battle that you seem to be compelled to warn you people about, oh, it seems an awful lot like the story in Revelation. I mean, just an awful lot like it. You know, just imagine you're a biblically educated person like I am. Okay. Now, then, while you're being the YouTube Paul Revere, visual artifacts relevant to what you've known historically in your life to be your spiritual energy show up on camera without hesitation, without fail, without discrepancy. Okay? Miracles? Signs and wonders? See me coming on the clouds? History repeats itself, dearies. What was written has happened before, but I told you it would happen again. And it has. Put yourself in my shoes. You see all of these events unfold. You see the camera go dark while you're holding perfectly still, as if something. Can I, can I... Okay. How do you even get a camera to do that? I have my thumb. My thumb is over here. By the camera. Now you know, see, thumb doesn't work. I don't know how to fake what you keep seeing. So, so, don't, I don't know. Sometimes I've noticed that it happens simultaneously with a gesture, as if it's like some kind of, like, like the light suddenly changes or something overall when the camera adjusts. But why would that happen while I'm sitting still and just making a powerful point? Seems kind of weird to me. But anyway. Now, on top of all this, you're already questioning your fate because despite, you know, the obvious truth of your warnings, despite some gift God gave you for whatever reason that should be giving credence to the words you speak, so that the people who hear those words can act and save themselves. Now, in the time of Paul Revere, we would have had uh, sort of a courier news service. Now, imagine if there was one global courier news service. And that courier news service, well, they would, they would carry the enemy's messages. An American company would ride around in little ponies with bags full of mail from Russian propagandists. From redcoat propagandists. But they start giving you a hard time. And come to think of it, they seem to be having different rates for other American companies. <coughs> oh, but that Russian propaganda, that red coat propaganda has no time spreading. And it just seems that this American courier news service that is the primary platform upon which we send and receive messages to each other, you know, kind of like Google. They're not loyal to the country. They've decided to obstruct Paul Revere. So nobody knows the redcoats are coming. That's what YouTube has done. 
they've not only obstructed free speech, they've violated constitutionally by organizing a racket against free speech. They've literally set up a fucking tripwire to snag the midnight ride of Paul Revere. And all I did was try to spread the alarm to every village and farm. Now, what could I have done better? And what could I be realistically expected as a YouTuber? I noticed there was an interest for weird spiritual shit on YouTube. There was an interest for people even pretending to be ancient reincarnate beings on YouTube. There's an interest in crazy people who get angry about injustice and um, extreme ideologies and uh, cultural genocide. These, these are all things that are very interesting that people watch very regularly on YouTube. Another thing that people find interesting is um, reality shows. They like to see real things unfold in real time. They like to see unfiltered shit. I've also tried to provide that. I've done everything I can to make this channel successful to try to save the world. Okay, and, and understand this. Say what this saying what this channel was trying to do is save America is no stretch of the imagination. Okay. That's you can just lay that out. Okay. Russia was coming. This is the one channel that tried to warn everyone. And I mean about the specifics, about things like the Russia being behind Black Lives Matter and the NRA. Okay, you heard it here first. Now you're hearing it on MSNBC. <sighs> and now we've had four school shootings in 2018 and it's February 15th we've had an innumerable amount of terrorist attacks domestically here in this country since Trump took office why is nobody talking about that fucking We're making it about guns. Really? It's not about guns. Society is broken. And what I've tried to tell you is that somebody broke it for us. Okay? And... and in 1976, the United States government started working on this plan that would become known as the Internet, TCPIP protocol. Okay. It's a system by which computers can send and receive packets of information, each packet identifying itself. So that, you know, like another computer can know what computer it came from. It's just that simple. Transfer Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, I believe is what it is. Okay. 
TCP slash IP. Well, by 1985, the CIA, supposedly, and this is stuff that you can look up, um, was planning on using this internet to spread democracy around the world and thus, quote, ultimately defeat the Soviet Union. Okay? Now, another piece of information you can look up, if you're creative enough. Uh, I'm thinking you might have to wind up reading this in passing while looking at other stuff, because it's probably stuff that's pretty hard to search. Thank you, Google. The Russians found out about this plan in 1987. <laughs> um, to which, I imagine, Putin did his first, first Smithers impression and went, Thanks. Like, they're, they're probably they they probably still laugh about it, like him and Lavrov when they're drunk. They're probably like, "So how'd this internet thing go for him?" Understand what, what what this is. This is a weapon. We built it, and then we forgot that it was a weapon. Huh. And guess what? You leave a weapon lying around, it might get used against you, might it? Well, in Ukraine, and historically, Russia has relied on local criminals and people they thought likely to commit crimes anyways in order to cause disturbances that distract from political events or historical events. Like big bombshells regarding John Kelly needing to resign. Oh, turns out John Kelly's just another fucking pig too. John Kelly has been propagandized and needs to have his mind healed I think he's earned that respect but Trump has he don't deserve shit but a noose and let me tell you this Look at little Miss Sparrow. Look at look, look at little Melania. Okay. Look at Bernie Sanders. Understand. One's Black Lives Matter. One's NRA. One's far left. One's far right. Both have always been Russian agents. Both have always had every sign of being a Russian agent. And in fact, if you literally want to make a caricature of what you need to understand in the modern context of what a Russian agent is, you need to basically write up the archetypical identity of Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, the old commie and the new fascist. That's how they play, and that's how they always have done this. But, Because I think I have the right to say it under the United States Constitution. Because I think I have the right to my opinion. As well as the responsibility to defend my country. YouTube has decided to suppress this channel. As if I was the Russian troll. And that's what the Google executives went right into Congress and told. Gave false statements to Chuck Grassley. Saying that the resistance movement is primarily 
uh, motivated and promoted by Russian troll activity, bot activity. I'm just a Russian troll bot. Yeah. Google wants to write me off that way. I'm an American. And my voice deserves to be heard. And I've done everything that Google could possibly want me to do. Okay. Within reason. Yet because of the content of my message and their complicity with its counterponent, their collusion with the opposite argument, so to speak. I've been, unable, I've been unable to have free speech, and I've sure as hell been unable to make a living on YouTube, no matter how much work I put in. So, I appreciate y'all watching my videos. Um, please let the ads play, and um, if you want to be a pal, it's, you know, the lost begotten at Gmail. And um, thank you, James and Sean and Joey, for keeping us going over here. Uh, they've been our best contributors. And Neville. All you guys. Thanks for keeping me going all this time. Peace, y'all.